everybody, it's your boy the Slab Train, and welcome back, guys, to some Forza Motorsport Horizon. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy the Slab Train, and welcome back, guys, to some Forza Horizon. Today's going to be Highway to the Horizon 2. Today's going to be episode number 11 as well, and we're going to pick up something special for today. Now, I just picked up this from the car pack, and this thing is vicious, man. 2006. For GTX 1 car looks absolutely phenomenal man that chop top on that or the convertible style Just looks absolutely beautiful and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is actually a SEMA car Not 100% sure, but let me know in the comments. And this thing's hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars now it's quite a bit and You know, I'm very thankful that I'm even able to do this video today uh, Reason being is if you guys watched my most wanted video yesterday you guys would know that you know I lost everything on my Mac and you know there were some important things on there for my YouTube and you know that's all gone now so unfortunately um, you know we are starting fresh on the computer and uh, you know thankfully that um, I actually got everything back up and running so fast now right off the bat this thing has got power man oh my god it's got some damn power right here it's got some juice man look at this Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Shit. Oh, nice brakes. Nice brakes. Okay. Brakes are real on this thing, man. They are real right now. How much money do we have? We get any money? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see any damn money right here. Oh, money. 35000 Well, that's very much appreciated. I was expecting a little bit more. Now we're going to dive right into the comments for today's episode. And this is from Daniel Rice from episode number 10. And uh, let me just make sure that there's no A-class races around here anymore. Old Spice. Ford. We're driving a Ford. Perfect. All right. So he says, hey, Slap, do you think they should put Fords on other gaming platforms like PS3, PS4, and other than just the Xbox? Now, turn around when it is ah, you know what? Honestly, I feel that, you know, if they did that, they would lose a lot of market share in terms of Xbox and you know even if you know actual actual like playground and turn 10 wanted to I don't think that Xbox would even let them go you know what I'm saying like Microsoft you know feeling that you know that is what brings a lot of people to Xbox is Forza and I mean you guys may not think so but you know what other racing game is there that you know offers this much freedom and this much customization you know tuning realism to the cars other than forza and forza horizon right so i don't see them giving up one of their franchise flagships over to a competitor and you know possibly losing market share in in the gaming community right so that's just my thoughts i'd like to know your thoughts on that as well too guys let me know but I don't think Forza is going anywhere, you know, even PC, I don't, I don't think, feel that they're going anywhere because they don't want anybody touching their games, you know what I'm saying? They don't want anybody modding their games, and, you know, PC would be the easiest way to do so. That's it. You're almost through to the next tier. Keep up the pressure if you want a blue wristband. Okay, girl. We're going to keep up this damn pressure right now. Now, next comment is from JVME Arrow, and he says, The absence of s chassis is one of the main reasons I skipped on Forza 5. Definitely hear you on that, my dude. I definitely hear you. I feel like I already read that one as well. Did we already read all these? What the shit? Oh, my God. But, yeah. So, um, as I said, though, today and yesterday was a little bit slower on the videos. Um, you know, I'm trying to catch up on everything. Um, one thing that I did want to discuss was possibly a new intro. So, if anybody has the ability to do intros or anything like that, Hit me up either on Twitter, private message, and uh, you know, let me know what you can do. I am currently looking for a new intro, so that is something that I've been kind of going towards. Because I have lost everything, including intros. Yes, I can re-download them, but maybe you know it's time for a fresh start in everything. You know what I'm saying? So now we have a lot of damn four GTs in here. Get off me! Hey, hey, hey! This guy's hit my damn car. This is with a lot of damn money, sir. Go, go, go! Come on, no! Did not mean to hit that damn wall, but I'll tell you that right now. We're falling behind. We're in fifth spot? Jeez. This game's not playing around, man. 
Here we go, here we go. We got him on the grind right here. Easy out of these corners, man, is key. Not burning too much rubber, though, you know what I'm saying? Now, the days are counting down until Forza Horizon 2 actually does launch. And, I mean, we haven't heard too much more about the game. Um, you know, a lot is left to our imagination, but really though, I mean, I'm very excited, I'm very, you know, I'm getting amped up for it, I really am, especially playing this game for sure, and I know a lot of you guys are as well too, and I know I see that in the comments, you're just saying, you know, this is getting me hyped for Horizon 2, and I cannot deny that, man, this game is just, it's so much different, you know, it, it really took some time to really respect the game, especially coming from, you know, Most Wanted and stuff like that, but you know, once... Once you understand the game and, you know, you feel for it, game is really nice. Get the hell out of here. Especially with them finally releasing that the game is compatible with a wheel now. Um, that was very big news. You know, obviously, you know, we all kind of expected it to be compatible with the wheel. But we never got a confirmation until the last couple days ago. So, the Xbox One wheels will be now compatible with Forza Horizon. Um, you, know, it was, you know, it could have been something that was, you know left to left to our imagination just because you know they did do the wheel with Forza Horizon but um, you know they didn't do it too much for Forza 5 you know there's only like one or two markets out there right now that are actually selling these wheels uh, I think it's Mad Cats and Thrustmaster are really the only two companies out in the moment right now producing wheels so you know it could have been could have been a toss up whether or not they were actually going to implement you know the work of you know, having a racing wheel, but I swear though, they didn't, oh man. People who had the wheels, they would have been pissed. Absolutely pissed. Oh no! That was mid-yawn yell, you know what I'm saying? How do you do that? Oh my god, dude. Come on! We're drifting it! Here we go, baby. We got it. We got it. This Mustang is on our... Oh, wait. Never mind. I thought he was. He was, anyways, for a little bit. Until we just pulled away, though. You know what I'm saying? This thing is real nice, though. Remember, this is a stock GTX right now. You know what I'm saying? Stock. It's not even built, man. Imagine if this thing was built. God, you guys wouldn't even want to see this thing. It would be so damn crazy. Race results... Yeah, 105 best lab. Get your asses out of here, computers. You ain't about this life. You know, the more I watch you race, the more I'm convinced you've got what it takes. Appreciate it, girl. Now, we have a comment right here from his Ismael here? Smith, and he goes, I'd like to see them pay attention to more detail. Like, if you upgrade your exhaust, let's see a different set of mufflers, not just a subtle change in sound. If you turbocharge a car, give us the option of a front mount intercooler to show or a boost gauge. Just little aesthetics things like that would be cool, and I think. And honestly, I'm on the same page with you, my man. This was, you know, back from when I was first talking about upgrades and stuff like that. Um, you know, it really, it really goes a long way. Something small, and you know, that's that's the old saying. You know, you do a little thing, and it goes a long way. Same with anything like that. I feel that if they implemented, oh, but that ain't no true test of skill. Let's see who's really the best out on the streets. I'll be waiting. Okay. We're going to take your damn whip, though, sir. We're going to go get this damn man. But, yeah, I mean, just little subtle changes would really, you know, change one's viewing of a game. And, I mean, exactly like you said, Smith, you know, exhaust change. You know, maybe even when you throw in race reduction, you know, see the additional seats get taken away like you could in Forza 4. Um, you know, see the intercooler get mounted or boost gauge, maybe you can be able to tune your boost gauge. And you know, I think these are all something that, you know, they should be working towards for Forza 6. Um, you know, I you know, I feel like it's now a point in time where, you know, yes, they were working with things in Forza 5, but I feel like now Forza Horizon 2 is on its way. You know, they have done their own thing um, with that and they've done a great job and they've stepped up now for Forza Horizon 2. And you know, now I feel that it's Forza 5 going to Forza 6's turn to step up and really show us, you know, what they are able to do and really bring back, you know, that Forza feel, man. Honestly, personally, I feel like they should just stop bringing in all these new body types of cars because 
you know, when we first got this game, when we first started playing Forza, it wasn't for, you know, the older cars. It was for, you know, the racing style cars. Obviously, yes, I'm not saying that they're not great cars in any sense, because, you know, it's very cool to be racing, you know, a you know, 37 Ferrari going down the Nürburgring. Hell yeah, that's dope. But I just don't feel as a console game um, that they should be putting as much time and detail into those when, you know, fans, they want the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? They want those details. They want, you know, cars that are made for the track. Not in terms of open wheels, but just regular cars, you know what I'm saying? That's what I feel personally. I'd like to know your thoughts on that. Do you guys like seeing these open wheels? Do you like seeing the older cars? You know, do you want to see something else coming to play? Let me know. I mean, just let me know, man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I get tired. It's a long damn road trip, man. And this thing is hauling right now. We're doing 140. This thing is crazy fast here. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. I wish I could, my damn Thrustmaster would work on this, man. That would be awesome. But it doesn't. And I can't dream. Sign me up. Look at this, man. You're going to get slapped, buddy. And I'm going to take your glasses and then shave your damn beard. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. All right, let's rock our damn GTX 1 right here. I'm about it. I don't know what this is, man. I just started getting these yawns. Like, yawn after yawn after yawn. I don't, I don't understand, man. Is someone messing with me or what? Now, sitting Shadow says, my birthday is July 1st. Can I get a shout out? Great bit as always, my man. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, it's now July the 6th. So, your birthday's passed. So, happy belated, my man. Sorry that, uh, you know, I missed that. All right. So, that Skype notification, which you guys just heard right there, was my thumbnail guy saying that all my thumbnails are still there, thankfully. That is a big weight off my shoulders because that was really the only things that I was upset about with losing everything was thumbnails and um, and my big montage photo. That was really the only thing. So, you know, I'm very happy now that, you know, my thumbnails are at least there because, you know, he worked very hard on those thumbnails and I would hate to see that go to waste. Oh, excuse me. Get out the way, man. It's my damn race. Oh, shit. Thankfully, that fence is breakable. And I cannot wait to start cutting some damn corners in these races, man. You're going to see some crazy damn lines online, though, guaranteed. Like this right here, you would have been able to cut that. Where is that guy? Where are you at, Howard? Let's go, baby. Oh, no. No. And I stalled it. Oh my god, though. Go, 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 go. Come on, baby. This has got to be a perfect damn lap right now. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. We got 45% left right now to make this happen. Oh, we gotta catch him, man. Come on. I got this, hopefully. Shit! I don't got this, I don't think. Come here, man! It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna happen, man. Unfortunately. Oh my God, dude. It's all right though. We're gonna redo this one more time. Hopefully though. Woo! Look at this cockpit view. You weren't ready for this. Here we go. Love this cockpit view. And I hope the one thing that they do in you know Forza Horizon 2 and Forza 6 is you know more um you know detail to how fast you're really going you know i feel like when we're going fast it doesn't feel like we're going that fast you know what i'm saying oh shit all right let's get out of this damn view real quick here we go oh the 
up Foots again. Pass him real easy. Look at that guy back there. Oh man, this is the corner that we missed, isn't it? Nope. But we're gonna drift this corner though. Oh, this thing's vicious though. So that second gear just wouldn't damn spin, man. This thing, these tires are thick on this thing. I can tell you that right now. They're real thick. All right, that was the corner right there that we screwed up on. Oh shit! Go, go, go! And this thing is—it's very stable car. I'm not gonna lie. And you know what? I—I I even remember when I had my wheel back on this game, and I drove this car with the wheel. Very, very nice car to drive. Very, very sturdy. You know, very solid. We're hitting everything, though. Oh, shit. Go, go, go! Come on, man. Not again. We got to just haul ass right now. Oh, we hit that guy. Thankfully, we should be back in this race right now. Oh, yeah, we are. Thanks for the bump. Take it easy. Oh, shit, my mirror, man. I hate losing mirrors. Come on, come on, no! We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, no! Okay. We got it, no problem, no problem, man. Alright, that's first place. We're gonna get his damn challenger, too, hells yeah. Give me that damn car, Howard. You gonna deserve to ride in that thing, man. I can't believe I lost my flip, yo. Oh, I can. Easy come, easy go. Treat her right, huh? You want to get into this car? Nah, we'll save it for another day, I think. You know, a rainy day, we'll save it for. Alright. We're not going to worry about that bounty, though. Alright, now, going back to our only Xbox conversation, Eon says, Forza will never be as big as Need for Speed just because it's Xbox only, in my opinion. And honestly, I feel like hey, you're right, up? my man. I do. Oh, I got a I'll wristband. Let's go get it. Look at that wristband, though. Here we go. Set that route. And we're off. I'd like to see if we're near the drift section. Holy shit, we are, too. Let's go. We're going to go drifting real quick, though. Lego. Oh, shit. My bad. Oh, baby. Oh. I just want to do this little red rock area with this car to see how it does. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be okay. I do. Um, you know, we have enough wheel spin in first and second to really, you know, get down. Oh, that water dam splash. That was crazy. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Oh, shit. Lost mirrors and everything right now, man. Here we go. At your destination. Oh, let's go. section man I thought that was the section right there it's down here and they're doing it looks like oh just could not fit in there it's all right it's all right let's try it again here look at this little 86 down here man we got a GTX one get the hell out of here I don't think I can really leave first gear without not spinning man Look at that suicide. Woo! Let's go, focus. Can you hang with this thing? Oh, we're pulling. We're pulling. We just dipped that focus so hard, man. Honestly, great section on there. We're going to get into that section, I'd say, a little bit later um, in the series. I think we're going to do it maybe in the next couple episodes. We're going to start drifting in that area regularly. And really start getting our drifts up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's grab our wristband. Let's see what the hell's going down right now, man. Well done. This blue wristband means you're really proving yourself at the festival. Keep going. What do we get? Blue wristband? That's my favorite color, man. Matches our damn GTX. Let's do it. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for coming around for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We just unlocked a whole slew of new 
events to go to right now. It looks like B, C class. We got a couple A classes, I think. Maybe no A classes because I don't see any A classes. Could be D, B, A. Oh, there's an A class right there. You know what I'm saying? But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to those next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching today. Thank you guys for your support on the lack of videos just because, you know, as I said, I lost everything. I'm starting from scratch again. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Jibota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Who was rocking the club on the drop?